Hi there, my name is Damien and in today's demonstration I'm going to show you how you can download all the Microsoft form responses into an Excel file via Power Automate. So it was just yesterday that I became aware of this article by a chap called Hero and uh, I've been aware of the forms API for, for a while. I've seen it being used in Power BI but I hadn't yet cracked how to connect or authenticate to the endpoint using Power Automate. So thankfully, Hero has demonstrated how you can do that rather easily using this HTTP request to SharePoint action. And here he demonstrates how you can actually get your form survey responses in just that single action. So today I'm going to extend that and I'm going to show you how you can download the Excel file. So if you're aware of Microsoft Forms, and the ability to go into responses and open in Excel. I'm going to show you how you can retrieve that Excel file. So absolutely no need for you to use when a new response is submitted and get response details. But also I'm going to show you how you can also reset your form by deleting all responses again, all via Power Automate. So let's jump into the demonstration. So here I am in my pre-built flow, and uh, as I explained earlier, the article that Hero has put together it already explains some of the details regarding this uh, action and the endpoint, and I'll put a link to his article in my description. But I have my form ID here and in a compose action, and I actually pass that in both of the next two actions that you can see here. So I use the same site address for both of them, which is forms.office.com, but slightly different formulated URIs. The first one here that you can see is all about just getting a row count. I'm literally selecting a row count here, and that's so I can supply that value to my next action, which is talking to the download Excel endpoint here, and it is retrieving um, from the minimum response ID, which is set to one, to the maximum response ID, which I've set to row count. So if I've got 10 rows, it will retrieve from one to 10, hence why I'm using the dynamic value from above. So all this action here does is to download the Excel file behind the scenes, and then I pass the body, as you can see here, from this response into create file. So create file is just using a dynamic file name, which is based on the format date time. Don't forget that file extension, the XLSX. And by providing that body that I mentioned from above here, we're creating an Excel file. So if I just quickly jump back onto my Microsoft form, you can see here I've got three responses at the moment. If I jump into my flow and do a test, and then what we'll do is we'll jump onto the SharePoint document library. Um, just here and hopefully within the next couple of seconds we'll see a new file up here. Might need to do a wee refresh if not. We'll go ahead and do that. So there we go, the file has appeared. If I click on that it will show me the three responses from my Microsoft form. Now the interesting thing for me was not only does it give their response and their point scores for each of the questions, it also gives me the total number of points that they've achieved for their score. Now, when I look through the JSON payload in uh, Hyro's um, example, the total po points wasn't included, so it was something that you'd have to calculate manually. By downloading this Excel file, you can actually get the total points and potentially work out a percentage and then supply that percentage to a certificate. And so creating certificates is something that I've covered previously using non-premium actions. And you could quite easily loop through this Microsoft um, Excel form or table, sorry, that you have here and providing a percentage to that certificate if it's maybe above a certain value, if you're looking for a 70% pass rate and dynamically create a PDF certificate and send that out to them. So now that we've demonstrated how to download that Excel file, relatively easy, um, I'm going to go and just maybe submit one more answer here. I'll go into the preview and just make a few more selections in my form, submit it back to the form. We can see we've now got four responses. If I go to the run history again, 
and uh, just go ahead and hit test, test, and run my flow. We'll jump back onto our SharePoint document library again. We'll do another quick refresh. We can see there's a second file. If I open that one up, we can now see we've got four responses in my table. Now remember, this is a brand new Excel file that's been created each time. So maybe rather than you retrieving your responses every time a response is submitted, you could do it at the end of a week or the end of a month. Now, the final solution I want to show you is how you can actually delete the responses. So I mentioned that uh, within the Microsoft form, there is this delete all responses button here, and that in effect clears out the historic responses and allows you to start that form from scratch again. If I go back into my flow here, again, I have my form ID and a compose action. My method this time is delete rather than put for the other two previous actions. And again, a slightly different constructed uh, API, but again, with two GUIDs that you see, which uh, Hero will explain, but the first GUID is actually my tenant uh, GUID. The second GUID is my user or my group GUID, depending on where that Microsoft form is stored. And simply by calling this delete, we can delete the responses. So I'm going to just hit test. We'll jump onto our Microsoft form and we'll magically see these responses disappear. Um, there we go, and in a second the whole thing will refresh. So right now there are absolutely no responses on my Microsoft form because they've been completely deleted, but thankfully I called that uh, other flow previously and I have a download of the responses to date. So a slightly different way there of uh, getting responses from Microsoft Forms, uh, something for you to, to give a go. It maybe doesn't suit your use case, but for others it may well suit your use case. Uh, I'll be interested to hear how you get on. And uh, like always, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments uh, or like to leave me any feedback, please get in contact via various social media platforms. Thanks very much again for watching. Bye.